Uh, this here is Napoleon's position. Uh, he spent the night of the 1st the 2nd of December 1805 here. The road there is, I think, on the position of the road between Brno and Olomouc. And um, Napoleon, uh, he went to some, uh, some cafe or something down the road, and uh, then he, uh, he went to sleep. During the night he was woken up and he was given the Allied plans, um, dispositions, I suppose, I mean. Uh, so <laughs> and uh, from there he planned, he finally put the final touches uh, to his strategy. In front, down there, now, um, at a distance of roughly um, 10 kilometers, um, there is the uh, Sokolnitsa where the, uh, uh, the and Teplitsa where the um, the Allies attacked the French line and the heaviest fighting was actually down there. Uh, in front we, where the, hi the height is, that's above Pretza and the uh, Pretza, whatever, uh, Pretzen, um, that is the place where Napoleon broke the uh, the line of the uh, the centre of the Allied line before swinging round behind the Allied troops and catching them in a pincer movement uh, somewhere, uh, somewhere to the uh, south. Uh, now, it was a um, it was winter. It was snow on the ground, which would have had the effect of giving a harder surface than would have been maybe in the ploughed fields, which were here. The um, the fog undoubtedly helped the French. Um, the the what happened after the battle was that. The, uh, the Austrians almost immediately sued for peace, and peace was signed in a um, temporary a ceasefire. Should say, was signed in the castle in um, Austerlitz, uh, which can be seen in another film of mine. And um, afterwards, a comprehensive peace settlement was worked out with Russia and with Austria, um, which was reasonably uh, wasn't terribly hard on either country. Um, didn't keep the peace for very long because. Britain was not knocked out and Prussia joined in the following year. Had Prussia joined in uh, in 1805, then the situation may have ended up completely different. Um, Napoleon was very worried about Prussian intentions and um, that's uh, one of the reasons perhaps why he decided to act so quickly. Uh, he defeated the uh, Austrians at Ulm and uh, the previous month in uh, November 1805 and he caught the Austrian CIA, he captured the Vienna, captured a pile of material then. Uh, the Allied plan had been to somehow sneak behind, uh, cut off his lines of communication and wipe them out, which is a reasonable plan, but they weren't able to act very quickly. And um, the, uh, and Napoleon, uh, the Napoleonic troops were able to move much faster, largely due to the fact that their supply system was uh, stealing it in, uh, came their way, rather than uh, sort of the slow ox-moving supplies being brought up by the rear, which was the usual uh, means of uh, military communications. And there's a view of the battlefield. Right, I could have seen some places in more places like Sokolnitsa, which I did drive through, but uh, didn't say anything about it. And. Uh, it's now late in the day, it's getting a bit cold. It's uh, the day is the twenty uh, today's day? The twenty third of May. No it's not. Which it is. It's the twenty third of May two thousand and nine. Uh, so it's been a very warmish day, but uh, now it's getting a bit cold for me standing here on my t shirt and short trousers and so uh, long trousers on and uh, they come back. Oh, that's a little bit travel, that's my